Hello good people, welcome to 247 Saga TV, the home of amazing and mind-blowing videos. Hello guys, we are back with another amazing video. Today's video is about two trending and hottest Nigerian musicians, Charlie Poppy and Ulumud Black. Recall that Whiskey gave a shout out to these two artists and even said he would listen to whatever sound Charlie Poppy drops. And Charlie Poppy in an interview also said Ulumud Black is his closest friend in the industry. So this makes it the perfect time to reveal the hidden facts about them. Obviously, these two guys have been on everyone's lips lately and many of their fans still don't know much about them and their hidden stories. So right in this video, we will be revealing hidden and unknown facts about them including their true biographies, age, state of origin and tribe, networks, cars, their secrets and how they became famous, their hidden gangs, their early life stories, parents, education, girlfriends and many other hidden things you don't know about them. But before we continue, please do us a favor by clicking on the red subscribe button below that will enable us to upload and reveal more hidden facts about your favorite celebrity. We will be starting out with Odmode Black. Odmode Black, who is also known as Big Kala, is a popular fast-rising Nigerian rapper, singer and songwriter. His real name is Tochuku Bubemi Ojogu. Odmode Black, who is fast becoming a rap sensation in the Afrobeat music scene, was born in Lagos State, Nigeria. However, he is originally from the Anioma people in Delta State, Nigeria. The Anioma people are indigenous Igbo communities located in Delta State. They span across nine local government areas of the state. Talking of his early life, Odmodu Black is the only child of his parents and he refers to himself as his mother's handbag. This is because he was always with his mother and followed her almost everywhere. No wonder in his song The Clan Rise, he talked about how he left his mother in Abuja to travel to Accra, Ghana. Odmodu Black was born in Lagos State but at the age of seven, his parents relocated to Abuja, the Nigerian capital. There Odmodu spent most of his life before his fame. According to the rapper, he learned to speak Pidgin English in Abuja. Also according to reports, Odumodu's father is late, however, he has a very supportive mom. Talking of his education, according to reports, Odumodu has a secondary school education at Christ the King College at Gwagwalada in Abuja. There he also reportedly got the stage name Odumodu. If you are wondering the meaning of Odumodu, well the word Odumodu is an Igbo name which means a lion. It is mostly bared by strong and feared men or warriors. The name Odumodu is also a popular traditional music gen in Igbo land. After Odumodu Black completed his primary and secondary education, he moved to Lagos State. There, he studied mass communication at the University of Lagos, Unilag. Before we talk about his personal life and networks, let's look into his career and journey to fame. First of all, let's talk about his signature car, which is synonymous to the Igbo tribe. According to Odumodu, it was his ex-girlfriend's mom that gave him his first Ukwagu cap and today is part of his music style. The name of the cap is Oku Agu and in Igbo tradition, the Oku Agu originally signifies bravery or warrior. And when you look at Odumodu Black, you will find out that he is very confident, bold and some of his lyrics sound like someone in a battlefield. Keep the meaning of the cap in the back of your mind so that when next you wear the cap, you act bold and fearless as the tradition suggests. <laughs> One well-known thing about Odumodu Black is that he is proud of his culture and Igbo roots which is why he never shies away from it. Many who see Odumodu's black success today might think he just started out music or his success is overnight. Well, the truth is Odumodu has been doing this music thing for up to 6 years now. While he was starting out, he asked his friend Aguna when they will blow. His friend replied him saying, in 5 years time, 2022 made it 5 years. And 2022 was also the year which Odumodu black released his hit track Picanto, which opened doors into the industry for him. He also signed to Native Records on November 2022, which was like a prophecy coming to pass. In one of his interviews, Odumodu Black disclosed that he initially wanted to manage one of his friends who was an artist, but discovered that he could also rap and the rest is now history. According to the sensational rapper, he looks up to Skepta. He said he has watched every Skepta interview on the internet that Skepta is his role model. Odumodu Black is a very unique artist. His sound and style are new and also different from what the Afrobeat fans are used to. Odumodu Black calls his style of music Oboroko. He said his music delivers a bittersweet experience and leaves you wanting more. The controversial rapper is the pioneer of his type of sound. He fuses Afrobeat with drill and grime music. According to Dazed, his style of drill employs high life inspires melodies which he calls abroko readings and Nigerian pidgin English to tell vivid stories about his community, life and everyday experience. Talking of his breakthrough into the industry, the song Declan Rise cemented his name in the industry. 
But before the clan rise, Odmodo had already been on the news for featuring Zlatan on his Picanto song. But at that time, the track didn't get much buzz until March 2023 when Whiskey posted the Picanto song on his Instagram story. The post from Whiskey gave the song much exposure and when Udmodu released the Declan Rice song in the same month, his story changed forever. Also in an interview with Joe Boy, Udmodu Black disclosed how he survived a surgery that almost took his life and on the day he was to be discharged from the hospital, Whiskey posted him which he believed was a sign from God. This is what he said and I quote, You can hear the way I'm talking, it's not about those teeth grills, it's because I did one operation. Ask my guys now, I almost died but God kept me here right now. And the fact that God saved me, everything that was happening after that was not surprising. He continued by saying, Ask my guys, I was eating baby food for 2 weeks, cold baby food, I lost weight, apart from that, there were like 16 stitches in my mouth bro. The day Whiskey posted my stuff was the day they were discharging me from the hospital. I woke up in the morning, I saw a message at 7am, I saw Machala and I checked my Instagram, everybody was sending me that whiskey post picanto and i'm like that was the first thing that god used to tell me that you i'm with you everything that is going to be happening from here onward is going to be more than what eyes have seen ears done here on march 2023 odmodu released the hit track titled the clan rise which was the total turn around of his career and the international recognition odmodu black earned his first top 10 entry on turntable official nigeria top 100 song charts at number eight on 1st 2023 the Clan Rice led the Cable Lifestyle Airplay chart at number one. The Sam United captain, The Clan Rice, expressed his excitement as Nigerians sang his name courtesy of Odumud Black. And on 15 July 2023, Arsenal announced the signing of The Clan Rice using Odumud Black's song in the background. Now, talking about Odumud Black's personal life. In the podcast, Big Kala disclosed he is not an alcohol person, but he smokes weed. Odumud Black is a great believer in God. And you will hear him say the name of Jesus Christ in almost every of his interviews and podcasts. In one of his interviews with Joe Boy, this is what he said, and I quote, I am a firm believer of God in the sense that I can feel when something is about to happen. In the month of August 2023, Odmodu Black luckily survived a ghastly car accident two days to his jam-packed show in Port Harcourt. He tweeted saying, survived a ghastly accident two days before this, so an awaiting death will want truncate be this, lol. Yahweh level, Jesus army, hashtag Ezioku. Talking of his relationship or girlfriend, Odumodu Black is still single at the time of making this video. He said at this stage of his career, he needs no distraction. However, when he becomes established in his career, he would need a good woman, which would be the best thing for him. In one of his podcasts with Chinaza Anukam on YouTube, he, he said he would take good care of his woman, as Igbo men are also known for that. Odmodu Black's net worth is estimated to be over 200,000 US dollars. Now let's talk about Shelly Poppy. His full name is Crown Uzama and he goes by the stage name Shelly Poppy. However, his fans and colleagues also refer to him as Plutomania, Pluto Boy, or Elon Musk Boy. He has a tattoo of a planet on his hand, however, it is not planet Pluto, but planet Saturn. According to him, he said that since there is no longer a planet Pluto, he uses the picture of Saturn planet to represent Pluto. Plutomania is also the name of his own created record label. Charlie Poppy hails from Benin, Edo State. He comes from the Uzamas family. Not much is known about his parents and siblings, though in an interview, Charlie Poppy revealed that his younger brother is also a musician. Just like some other artists in the industry, Charlie Poppy has a look-alike younger brother who is also a musician. In fact, they started out together. His name is Zeri D and he recently dropped a song titled Puff and Pass featuring his bro Charlie Poppy. Charlie Poppy also signed him to his record label. Talking of his education, the young entertainer completed his primary and secondary education in Edo State and also went on to study at Aochi Polytechnic in Edo State. Talking of his humble beginning and musical career, According to Charlie Poppy, he started making music in 2016 at his age of 15 and his first performance was at his secondary school in Edo State. Before his breakthrough year, Pluto Boy was independently pushing his musical talent and posting his musical freestyles on social media. On wow. chapter 2 uh, Filato, Filato, Mary said this veggie, okay, she say, 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 I have a boyfriend, but I will knock if you give me 10 I have a boyfriend, but me, I will knock if you give me 10 k. Who got my own meat? I shall own my own meat. Who got my own meat? 
His success came after he released the song titled Elon Musk on March 2023. The song got widespread recognition on TikTok and from TikTok it blew like wildfire among young Nigerians or better say the Gen Z population. Charlie Poppy and his Elomos song is also responsible for popularizing the word avian in Nigeria, though people are still skeptical about the true meaning of this word. However, Charlie Poppy said that the avian word which he has popularized does not have a specific meaning attached to it. He said it can mean anything for anyone. He also went further to disclose that avian is his family name. He said his forefather bears the name avian. Well, that is Charlie Poppy's definition of it and he said it can mean anything to anyone. The general notion on the street is that avian means juju or jazz. Some even interpret the song to be inside that your juju, another juju day inside. Well, like Pluto Boy said, avian can mean anything for anyone. Some even call it grace. One of his Instagram posts which has caused raised eyebrows or suspicion is the performance pictures of himself he posted on Instagram on August 15th, 2023 with the caption saying, things and things they body. As a Nigerian who knows what's up in the street, you will definitely be suspecting Charlie Poppy by now. Well, keep watching. Now let's dive deeper into his success story and controversies. Following the success and wide acceptance of Elon Musk, Charlie Poppy began performing at music shows and parties around the country where he was paid. Everything was going so well until the 30th of May 2023, when things took a bad turn. News reports had it that Charlie Poppy was arrested at an event in Kaduna State where he went to perform his music to his fans. Few days after the news of arrest, the Nigerian EFCC, through their official social media pages, confirmed the arrest reports. Many social media users began mocking the Elon Musk crooner. Some even said that it was the end of the road for him. But little did they know that Charlie Poppy, aka Plutomania, was busy in the police cell writing new music. According to Charlie Poppy, he composed the song titled ex convict Behind Bars of Coughs. Following his arrest for alleged internet fraud, Charlie Poppy, alongside five others, was convinced and sentenced to two years in prison each with the option of fines. And in addition, they were to forfeit all electronic gadgets, furniture, and other items recovered from them to the federal government of Nigeria. After Charlie Poppy must have met with the terms and fines, he was freed. Without wasting time, Pluto will release the song he made behind bars titled Ex Convict. And just like Naramali's case in 2019, Pluto Boy's new song became an instant hit. He didn't stop there. Charlie went on to release an EP which also had other classic songs like Oba Pluto, Speedometer and others. Another interesting fact about the Pluto Boy is that he doesn't write down his songs. He said all the songs he has dropped so far are all freestyles and cruisy, including the Elon Musk hit song. You might also be wondering if he has a girlfriend or is in a relationship. Well, in an interview, Charlie revealed he is just all about the money for now, talking of his cars, houses and net worth. Unconfirmed reports claim Charlie owns a Mercedes-Benz and he has also been spotted with other Benz cars. Charlie Papi is his own boss and has garnered so much wealth in the short period of time, shutting down shows 24-7. Charlie Poppy's net worth is estimated to be over 350,000 US dollars. 